Compression fittings are one of the most common and versatile methods of connecting metal or hard, stiff plastic tubing, particularly useful for their extreme temperature and pressure capabilities along with compatibility with aggressive fluids. Compression fittings can be seen in systems varying from gas lines in refineries to the plumbing under your sink. Regardless of the intended use, all compression fitting applications have several requirements in common. They require easy assembly, long life, and absolutely no leaks. Compression fitting assemblies vary in design from manufacturer to manufacturer, but are all made up of the same basic three elements. A compression nut or screw, and one or two ferrules, and finally a compression fitting body. Today I'm going to discuss how to install Beswick compression fittings. Slide the top assembly of the compression fitting onto the plastic or metal tubing in the following order. The compression fitting screw or nut, the rear ferrule, if applicable, the front ferrule. Press the end of the tubing into the fitting body and finger tie the compression fitting cap. Now, I'm going to use our 1 16th OD compression fitting to complete our instructions. Once it's finger tight, using a wrench on both the screw and the nut, tighten the cap approximately half to a quarter to three quarters of a turn or 180 to 270 degrees of rotation past finger tight. The front conical ferrule may spin even after swaging, however, it should not be able to move up and down the tubing. For future connections, tighten the screw or not an eighth to a quarter turn past finger tight. These instructions are meant to serve as a general guideline only. For more detailed instructions, visit our website.